Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about texture brushes. These are amazing. Let's go ahead and get started. Do new file general. And let's go ahead and save it as. We'll just call this texture basics. And the next thing I want you to do is download the free blender brushes. I'll leave a, a link and a download of the zip folder and then just simply unzip that folder into your folder of choice. And we're just going to use some of these texture brushes today. So make sure you've done that first and then we'll get started inside of Blender. So just like we've done, let's set up Suzanne for sculpting. We'll do matte caps and let's crank up some resolution with our multi-res modifier and let's subdivide it. We may go up to five or six today, whatever your computer can handle. We want to get our poly count into the millions. So to do that, just turn on your overlay statistics. That way you can see. You may have it down at the bottom. And I'm just gonna subdivide a few more times. And it may take quite a little bit of time because it's doubling every time. So there we go. We've got about two million faces, which is pretty good for my little laptop here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And let's go Control Tab and switch into Sculpt Mode. And notice over here, if we turn on our tools, we've got our Sculpt Draw. So if we want to add a texture to this draw brush, so we need to just create a new brush. So we'll just click on this and just rename it just right there, texture one, something like that. And then if we scroll down, notice there is something called texture. You can also see it up here, texture. And you want to create a new texture, but I wanna kind of show you what's happening visually here. So, just kind of pull this guy over and let's drop down this texture here and then go into the top right corner until you get that little crosshair and then click and drag over. And what we're going to change this one to, this properties panel, we're going to change it to this one, this little texture one. And this is just to kind of show you what's happening while we create our texture brush. So in the first one, we're in our sculpting tools down here in the texture drop down. And then over here, we're looking at our texture panel. So when we click new, watch what happens over here. So we're just saying, I wanna make a new texture picture. And we can even rename that texture picture. And that will just let you know what you're building here. Notice we've got the type, which is an image or movie. And we're gonna use an image, those ones we just downloaded. And we're gonna open one. Now we're gonna go to our brushes folders, wherever you extracted it, and go to textures. And you should be able to see all these different colors. If it looks like this, you know, just the, the names, then you can come up here and do the little thumbnails. And now we can just pick one of these cool texture brushes. So I'm just gonna do the moon one here. It looks kind of cool and cratery. So we'll do nine and hit open image. And there we go. So now you can see we brought in the PNG and it looks like some craters here and it's also appeared in our brush. So the cool thing is you can always click on this little icon here where your draw brush and flip flop in between these if you want to go back to your regular draw. So now when we click and drag on Suzanne, looky there, we're getting some really weird kind of textures popping up from our brush, but it doesn't look that great. So another cool thing you can do, just undo that, is go up here and change from, instead of tiled, we could do area plane. And when you hit F, you can see how big the brush is going to be. So we'll just click that and notice there, now we're, we're getting somewhere. And now what we can do is go under stroke. So we're in the texture, you just close that and go under stroke. You can also do it up here. And you wanna change the stroke method from space. You could do line, if you wanted to do a line, just draw a line across the object and notice it's going to kind of make a line of that. And you can also change out the spacing of that. But what one is really fun is anchored. So I use anchored a lot and you can just scale up a little bit. And then when you click and drag, notice you're getting a nice kind of like, you can rotate it and kind of place the, the texture where you want. And notice it's really, really spiky and intense right there. So we can just roll down the strength a little bit and do the same brush. And notice it's doing a nice texture now. And another cool thing is you can also hold control and do the inverse of that. So it's pretty awesome. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. And notice that already is giving us so much cool dynamics to our design here. And it looks like we've done all this crazy amount of sculpting, but really we've done just very little. 
So that is the basics of sculpting with your brushes and just bringing in a brush. We're gonna go way more into detail, but what I want you to do is just pick a brush and start clicking and dragging on some of these. I want you to change your different stroke methods into different ones of these. Another cool thing you can do is just use your mask brush right here and just mask out a certain part, maybe increase the strength. There we go, maybe just somewhere here on the face and then do control I to invert that. And now if you take your sculpt brush, you can click and drag and just put texture on the active face here. Notice it kind of falls off as the mask fades away. So we'll just do control M to delete the mask. And there we go. So that's a quick way to, you know, just strategically place certain pieces of your brush wherever you want. So that is the basics of adding textures to your designs here. Um, again, we're still with our multi-res, so we can always, you know, turn that off and go right back to our base mesh like nothing happened. Uh, but that is the power of the multi-res with texture brushes. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson and keep on sculpting.